In this video, we will discuss alignment labels and tables. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file alignment labels and tables.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the working with this dataset video. Civil 3D provides ways to create alignment labels and tables in your drawing. Let's discuss how to do this. Go ahead and select your alignment, and in the labels and tables panel, let's click on add labels. You could use the default commands right here, but when you do so, it will use the default label style defined in the command settings and it will not allow you to choose a label style that you might want to choose from based upon the label you're selecting. So let's click on Add Alignment Labels instead. In the Add Labels dialog box, we have these different types of labels that we can place. Let's look at Station Offset first. We'll place Station Offset Fixed Point. We'll do a Station Offset and Coordinate. Let's go ahead and choose the Basic X one and click Add here. Then you're prompted to define a Station Offset. Of course, you could snap to existing objects if you need to define station offsets for those objects, or for now, we'll just click in space, and there's a station offset fixed point. Let's also now place a station offset label. Click Add, select the alignment, and let's place the station offset of this label. Let's see the difference between the station offset fixed point and the station offset label. So the station offset fixed point will actually stay where it is and update the new offset based upon your edit to the alignment. Whereas the station offset label moves with the alignment. So you have the best of both worlds. Let's look at multiple segment labels. So multiple segment labels allow you to label the tangents and curves within your alignment. You can then choose the line label style as you can see here. We'll click add, select our alignment, and there are the labels labeling the alignment. What's great about the labels is that you can grip select them and if you need to move them along the alignment, notice how they're masking. Now remember, you're not locked into what these label styles are displaying. Don't forget, if you go to the settings tab, alignment category, you will be able to change any of the label styles defined in here. Let's look at alignment tables. We'll close here. Let's go ahead and select the alignment again and we'll choose add tables. You can add line, curve, spiral, or segment tables. Let's click add segments. So it's going to use this table style right here, and you can select the alignment you want to do. You can split tables as well, but for now we'll toggle this off. Let's go ahead and click OK. Place the table, and it's linked to the alignment. So of course any changes made to the alignment will update the table. What happened to the alignment view is it actually made tags of those labels within the actual alignment, and it now is correlated to the table in here. So what Civil 3D actually did within the Settings tab was if we expand on the label styles and then expand line, you'll notice what it did by default is it creates a child style called dot tag dot one. And in that style, it tells a label to display a tag instead of the actual data, like the length, bearing, distance, etc. And so that's what's actually going on here. Now, if you ever need to renumber your tags, let's say they're out of sync or they're not in the correct order, select any one of them and click on the renumber tags tool and then of course you can change the order in which it does things.